Greetings one and all. So this time we're going to focus on the console tasks and the new hidden feature that's in 119 to allow you to create custom console task links. So um, not obvious by its name what cons custom console tasks might be. So probably best if I actually just get on and show you. So what we're talking about is these tasks that show down here. Uh, by default, you sort of just get the 50-50 console and the virtual console that sort of show up there. You have to configure those before you can use them. But there are other useful ones that you might want to pop in place. IBM gives you a list of them you can use. So in the example I've got here, uh, I can launch web query. And that's in context for that particular system that we saw. So that was Red Allison. But you know, if I've got a, a SAN sat underneath it, uh, I could get a link out to the 5200 in this case that's actually running the disks on this system. Or maybe you've got a tape library. So you get the idea. And I've even put a number of these defaults in place where you could actually launch context sensitive, the appropriate links for that particular system. Great. Um, but what if the link you want a link to doesn't meet one of these categories? So, yeah. See the examples I've put there, and IBM does give you a fair few options. So the digital certificate manager or the DP2 mirror, you know, the IVM, yeah. Uh, but you might find that you've got a particular one that isn't an IBM one. It may not be one that IBM provides. It might be a, a management tool of your own, um, or it might be something that's not to do with IBM, uh, IBM I at all. It might be the thing that monitors your IBM I, or it might be your IBM I application. So we've been um, lobbying IBM for a while to give us a couple of uh, options to customize these links so that we could put them in there. It was possible before to um, you know, add a link. So you could say, okay, on here, just because it, the, it didn't meet the actual name, we could pick something like hardware management interface one, and I've got some prepared URLs down there. So I could put a, a Genie link on there. So if I was doing Genie administration, I could have that there. Uh, you know, the second one down here, I could pick hardware management two, and I could um, put in there a monitoring tool. So this is going to use the PRTG monitor that we use for monitoring things associated with that system. And that sort of works because those extra two links pop in here. And if I want to use them, you know, I can. Um, but it's it's a bit clumsy you know, because you'd have to remember what those names were. And if you've got lots of systems, it might be different things each time. So wouldn't it be nice if you could customize these names? Well, that's what they've introduced in 119. That's the custom console link. So how do you make those changes? Well, it's not obvious. Um, you have to actually edit the properties file. So let's just come out of uh, that for a moment and go and edit the properties file. So we've touched on this uh, ACS config properties file in the past. What you do is you, at the very bottom, you drop in a couple of extra parameter lines. And this is what I mean by being hidden. I hope that in future releases, they'll actually put this onto the preferences tab or the configuration tab or somewhere inside. But you've got these two extra options that you can add in here. Okay, I'll explain them in a second. Let's just pop them into the configuration file. Basically, you've got HMI1 and HMI2. So that's the hardware management interface one that we saw before and hardware management interface two. So I've put some descriptions in there just to save time. So the description I want to replace hardware management interface one with is Genie admin portal and the hardware management two, the Burton PRTG network monitor, because these are two things that I wish to link to that particular system. So now when I launch ACS, and you do have to close ACS and restart it for this to take effect, you should see anything that uses uh, the hardware management interface one has its own custom text in there. So you see the Genie admin portal. There we have it. And what else do we have? We have the, the network monitor as well. So it goes off and triggers the monitor. So this is really useful to have all of these things in context. Let me stress again that if I was to switch from that system, Ritz Allison to you know, Ritz Scott, all of these links. Um, could be totally different. They're context sensitive, even if they were, um, you know, having the same description. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you use those console links, they are super valuable, particularly if you've got multiple systems. You can use them to launch things that are associated with IBMI, 
as the GME puzzle or things that are nothing to do with your IBM I other than monitoring it, like my uh, PLTG monitor. Or maybe you've got a browser-based GUI interface for your particular application, well, you can pop that on there as well. Hope you found that useful. Keep the feedback coming and any suggestions you've got for future training, just let me know. But for now, cheers. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.